Hi everyone, Keith here. Hey, I wanted to talk to you tonight real quick about uh, a thing called motor vehicle. And what I'd like to explain to everybody is that the definition to anything you ever come across is merely just another man's opinion. And that opinion... Um, in the most general sense, is based on somebody's intent. And so when we talk about these motor vehicles as opposed to an automobile, the use that you put it to is your intent. And that is what actually defines what you're trying to describe. So when it comes to a motor vehicle, when you purchase these motor vehicles, I strongly suggest that once that motor vehicle is paid off and you get that bill of sale, take that bill of sale to the county recorder's office, record that onto the public record, and then draft up, draft up a notice of consumer goods. And if you'd like, I do have a template for that. Also draw up a notice of rescission of contract. Get rid of your license to drive if you're not going to be driving. Because understand people, though this statement is true, driving is a privilege. And you are required to have a driver's license in order to do so. That statement is true. The problem is that if you're going to subject yourself to the lowering of your status to carry upon privileges, then you're relinquishing your right to travel, which supersedes that. If you don't understand that, then you need to backtrack and learn it. You have a, a right to travel which supersedes any privilege of any sort that requires a license, registration, insurance, certification, anything like that so when it comes to these motor vehicles that you're purchasing when they're fully paid off get that bill of sale record it at the counter recorder's office draw up a notice of consumer good attach that bill of sale recorded and filed at the counter recorder's office to that and then file that in with the counter recorder's office as well these two documents along with your rescission of uh, uh, contract with the Department of Motor Vehicles and present them um, on the, the public record um, is going to have any is going to have a superior truth to any kind of title registration insurance statute code rule regulation act edict ordinance declaration proclamation or anything like that that they have So again, I suggest um, instead of waiting for, for these people, these pirates, to pull you over on the side of the road and give you a ticket and then subject yourself to the courts and go ahead and just paying that fine so that they can do it repeatedly, instead of enabling this system, be preemptive. If you are truly a citizen and you are required to have a driver's license, you go ahead and carry that driver's license. But if you're not, or if you do not know, find out. And then if you are not required to have a driver's license, if you are not required to license a motor vehicle because it is not purchased with the intent of using it for commerce on the public roadways for profit to, to transport cargo and passengers, then you are not required to have a driver's license. Understand this stuff. Uh, re learn that you have a, a, a right to travel, and that is different than a privilege to drive. By taking upon a privilege to drive and letting these pirates in enact their commerce against you, you are enabling the system. If you truly are independent and have a right to travel, then you support that and enforce it. Any relinquishing of that shows them that you are relinquishing your rights. You are waiving their, your rights. The only way you have standing is to stand. 
And if you have nothing to stand for, then just keep on sitting. Keep on sitting. Otherwise, I, I suggest we, do, we start doing some preemptive um, actions in, and understand people just entering this stuff onto the public record um, with your full intent and knowledge of what you truly to be, believe to be true there is no fraudulent intent in it. So that you cannot be uh, fined, assessed, or, or charged with any kind of crimes or anything for doing this. It's, it's an action of, of learning and trying to figure out how this system works. If, if, they, if they claim some kind of equitable title, then they have to show proof. And the only proof of that is going to be a wet pen signature. So again, I declare that if you... If you Hand draft your own documents, wet penned, put your own autograph on them, and, and have them witnessed by other members of your association. People that know you. This is going to have a much superior truth to any kind of fictional document that any kind of fictional corporation can put out with some asshole sitting behind some seat in an office or declaring to be some kind of authority figure and then not stepping up and taking his responsibility for being that authority. If you want to know what authority is, take it yourself and be responsible for yourself. Otherwise, people like myself have a hard time dealing with the cognitive dissonance of all the people enabling the system. Go ahead and go out and vote again. Go ahead and re-elect people into these seats that have no interest in you because they're doing it for money because you're doing it for money as well because you're caught up in the cognitive dissonance of a commercial secular society instead of living your, your life in truth. Anyway, if you want to get past this shit and get out of that, that commerce, then... I suggest you uh, start taking preemptive moves. Um, and remember, San Su in the art of war, because it's truly a, a war. Um, the art of war, to defeat one's opponent without fighting, is of supreme excellence. And this is where I try to profess to people, we don't have a right to protest. That's a, that's a violent act. You want to... You wanna, um, enforce your rights and do it without the violence and remember the pen is muddier than the sword God bless you all if it weren't for you guys I wouldn't be here have a great night bye